Hello tubes. When you see this, you know this is never a good sign. Um, this is my wife's Honda Odyssey, a 2007 model. And it's been getting a, uh, the battery keeps on dying. The alternator is brand new um, right now. And uh, like uh, last night, this was, uh, uh, when I tested it, it was at, um, uh, it was like 2 point, uh, 12, I mean 12.8 volts. Now let me show you what I get. Using my free multimeter, this is what I get. I'm ticking the positive, positive, negative, negative, just touching the battery terminals. 12.52. It was 12.8 or 12.7. This might start, it might not. So what I'm gonna do is start it and I'm gonna show you, the, uh, it, hopefully it'll start, and I'm gonna show you that the alternator is, is charging it. It should come up like about 14, or uh, like 14.8 or something or so while it's running. And then uh, after that, I'm gonna do a, um, a parasitic drain test. Well, it started, and it had no problem starting. Let me show you that now I'm gonna test the alternator. And again, I'm using just a multimeter. So what you do, and this is gonna kind of hard when I don't have, I don't have three hands. So I'm going to stick my multimeter there, I'm going to take, connect the same thing, put the positive up to the positive terminal, the negative to the negative. There we go. I get 14, yeah, almost a little over 14 and a half, I mean under 14 and a half. So it's definitely charging it. Now I got to do a parasitic drain uh, to see how much milliamps or amps it's losing. It's off. The uh, We know it's charging. We know the bat with the, how much the battery is, it is set at. Now, what I'm going to do is put this, change this uh, multimeter and put it in basically what's in series. And I'm going to stick it on the amp setting. Now this one only goes up to uh, five amp. Uh, it's better if you have a 10 amp one, but I know the drain on this one's not is not more than one amp So and, and I really when it's sitting you should only have um, 50 milliamp drain So you do that you put, put it on um, Amps Then you're gonna need to take this take this wire the red wire And then put it in an, uh, this other position there like that and um, then we're gonna uh, I'm gonna do this um, now you want to do this on the negative side uh, because if you do it on the positive side you can uh, there can be some bad things happen so it's safer to do it on the negative side what I've done now is I've disconnected the negative terminal be the positive there now what I'm gonna do and this might be easier if you got a helper or alligator clamps is you're going to touch or put this the negative here in here and put the positive on the terminal here now what you're doing here is you're putting this multimeter in series uh, it's an imperative that everything is off on the car. Don't even try to enter the car because you'll have lights that come on and that can blow this multi, blow, uh, blow this multimeter. So, um, just for this point, uh, you make sure no one else is going to get in the car. If you are going to be going, you need for some reason you need to keep the doors open or whatever. Tape off the uh, the sensors or uh, uh, somehow or lock it with a screwdriver in the notch locks to make sure that it thinks it's locked. With my multimeter in amps, it only goes up to five amp. Uh, it's better if you have a tan because you've got a huge draw, it'd be, it'll be able to detect that. Now I'm gonna touch this to the negative here. It'll, okay. Yeah. 
Now it's uh, not getting a drain. That's not bad. Yesterday it was getting a uh, 0.13. What I'm done now is I've kind of jammed the positive into the negative um, uh, terminal cable and I've taped with electrical tape the probe for the negative to the negative terminal on the battery and I get this and this isn't amps. This means I have a 700 milliamp drain. There should not be any more than 50. Uh, yesterday it was a 130 milliamp drain. So what I'm gonna go, go do is I'm gonna go into the car or over there on the fuse box over there. I'm gonna start pulling fuses one at a time. And, and, and whoa. Yeah. So, I need to support that. This. So, yeah, there we go. I could I could get alligator clips to clamps to for it, but I don't have them right now. So I'm making do with what I have. So, I'm gonna go through pull each fuse one at a time and then come back and look at this or arrange this somehow that I can see it easily. There's a fuse box there and the, under the hood. There's one in the car over here on this side and then there's a third one over there. Some cars have three, some cars have one, some cars have two, and some of them are even in the, one, uh, even in the trunk. It is imperative that you, um, you disable the dome lights and all um, so it doesn't show up, uh, it'll, it'll mess up your test. So I've got these clamps where I need to start holding down the, the, the button that indicates that it's closed. Some cars you have to put a, like a screwdriver in here to lock it, to make it think it's locked too. I think I found what circuit it is now. I went through, under it and see how it's measuring zero now. I pulled this fuse, I was pulling, all of these, and they give you a nice uh, fuse puller here. Went through all these, pulled it, and then I started getting in these other ones here, and I pulled this one. And it went down to zero. So I gotta look at what circuit this is, based off of um, this diagram. Okay, according to this diagram, it's the backup ACC. It's a 40 amp. 40 amp fuse, it's the backup ACC. So something screwed up on the backup ACC circuit okay. that's causing this. See how this is measuring zero? I'm gonna put this fuse back in and, and we're gonna see what, is, what it jumps to. I put the fuse back in. See how it's point out, point at 700 milliamps. Go over here to this one. I'm going to pull it and uh, see it come down. So it's that sort of tubes. Uh, uh, I put the fuse back in, the 40 amp one, and then I started pulling the fuses inside the car. And I've already put, I put it back because it's really hard to put in because the, the odd position you have to be in. But for me, I, I pulled position six and um, didn't do anything. I pulled seven, the 7.5 amp back, which is under backup, and it dropped down to 0 0.05, which is not what it is now because I put it back in. But um, so there's something up on that circuit. Um, gonna go look what, what that is.